the yard. <coughs> Some uh, early summer wildflowers. Not wildflowers, they're cultivated flowers. <laughs> the house. The little cabin in the woods. Big fir tree. Is it plural? Have to mow the lawn. So this is my little, oh, there's the cat. Hello. Meow. No? Okay. Fine. So I'm smoking this uh, rather small, but talk about a nose warmer, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hello. A Peterson. A Peterson golfer. <laughs> it says on the on the uh, silver thingy jig there. Nice, nice blast. Kind of an Italian looking blast, I would say. Surprisingly large bowl, actually. It's an X one hundred five shape. So, oh, I want the lighter. <laughs> I was watching the cat. Yes, look at you looking for some attention. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a fire department day. I'm trying to mow the lawn. I'm not re not real motivated. Oh well. Anyway, this pipe. Uh, of course, an eBay find from uh, Jim Daniel in uh, Daniels in uh, Folsom, California. So I don't know him, but uh, he put in a note and he said, uh, "Really enjoy your videos." <laughs> so it's like, really? <laughs> what you get known for, I tell you. I mean, it's pretty small, but what a perfect nose warmer shape. Mm. And it's, it's an army bit, military mount, so uh, you can just take it apart and it packs real small in your pocket. It's great. I like Peterson's. Not entirely sure why, I just like the shapes. So. I have some Irish in me, maybe that's it. <laughs> Smoking some of the 40th anniversary flake that he sent. Uh, he sent a little sample, a few flakes of uh, McClellan's anniversary 40. It's good, it's a nice uh, red Virginia flavorful. Mm -hmm. These shapes, these uh, billiard shapes, I think, smaller billiard shapes, even though the bowl's pretty good sized. I, I have to agree with Doug Owen over a cargo hold and uh, Rob Cooper that they tend to do the best with Virginia Flakes. Maybe because they stay lit, because the combustion is better. I don't know. Maybe they just smoke more evenly. Because Virginias can get a little hot. That's kind of the wrong word. I don't know. A little acidic, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, it's good. So it's delightful being summer, It's even though it's only about 60 degrees. It's nice. So I'm going to mow the lawn. Maybe, uh, I don't know what else I'll do tonight. We'll see. But, uh, anyway, what I did is uh, I mounted one of those sections of vinyl, food grade vinyl tubing on, on the bit. And it just gives the perfect clench, perfect 
it's soft enough, but it's firm. And they last forever. They don't wear out. So Dan was talking about clenching. So... <laughs> just how I do it. It's just how I've always done it. I don't know. I, I kind of... It's just how I smoke a pipe. Everybody does it different. But. Hmm. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great Saturday. And enjoying a little bit of early summer. So thank you, Jim Daniels. Nice. Nice pipe. He had another one called a Hunter. And I wanted to try this. I didn't know if anybody would buy that one. But uh, if they did, they got a nice little pipe. So, yeah, this is sweet. So this is the Indianola Dock. There's downtown Seattle. Here's Indianola. And there is Suquamish down there in the Agate Pass Bridge, Agate Passage. So, pretty neat. So we're on a little motorcycle ride here, a little Sunday day run. Pretty cool. So there's the victory. We're in Seabeck. Here are the guys. Very nice. Riding some back roads here. And the Hood Canal. So we're back home. That was a nice day. Spent with some uh, friends out riding. Yeah, Victory did a good job. Riding on all kinds of crazy back roads. That was fun. So I'm smoking some uh, Royal Challenge. Now there's a name to live up to, right? From East India Trading Company, <coughs> which is one of those uh, pipes and cigars brands. Nicely done label, have to say. Royal Challenge is a blend of red and golden Virginias with smooth black Cavendish with a delightful rum flavor that's enhanced by sweet spices. An all-day mixture, Royal Challenge is an especially good partner with an early morning cup of coffee. This came from uh, Todd down in Folsom, or not Folsom, uh, in Southern California. So he sent me some tins he didn't like, so this was one of them. You know, it's a little dry, which is good for me, up here in this kind of damp climate. Make some good smoke. Not the most flavorful. For me, I think the room note... Probably is pretty nice. You know, you just can kind of tell sometimes. But... It doesn't offer the smoker a whole lot. But I appreciate it, Todd. I always love to try new blends. New to me blends. And it's an aromatic that I wouldn't normally... A Virginia heavy aromatic, which I kind of like the idea of. Smoke's pretty damp, though. That's the advantage to using your finger as a tamper. <laughs> you can feel how, how damp it is or how dry. 
a lot of Englishes, Balkans, tend to, uh, it's a dry finger. <laughs> Whereas this is definitely moist. Burns nice though. This is that uh, Peterson golfer. So it's a military bit. Yeah, it's not too too warmed up. So uh, you know that allows it to be really portable. It's pretty tiny to begin with. So. I like this little pipe. Why is that? I don't know. Sometimes the pipe just kind of hits you right. But oh, off kilter there. So I spent the day uh, motorcycling with friends in the back, on the way back roads, way back roads, all paved but barely. Great fun, there were nine of us. Some people I didn't know very well, some I know real well, a couple I didn't know at all. So, it's fun, it's, to me it's fun getting to know people. You know, hearing their stories, where they come from, how they like to ride, what they like about riding. You know, I mean, it's just, it's endless. It's fun. Although I do get a little social doubt. I am, I am kind of a uh, loner with a lot of friends. <laughs> so I like my alone time. I almost didn't do this ride because I was thinking, you know, yesterday was very social doing fire department stuff, and uh, I kind of like a day to myself on the weekends, but, but it was really fun. We had a great time. Hmm. Yeah, this gets a little, <coughs> a little uh, ashtray-y. <laughs> Towards the end of the bowl here. <laughs> As many aromatics do for me. But those are mostly burly based. And you know, from the uh, from the look of the mixture. I mean, the, the black is probably the uh, Cavendish. Little ribbon cut. But it's nice. I would smoke this again. It, yeah, I would. It's not super delicious, but I'm sure the room note is nice. That could be a good uh, social smoke tobacco around the campfire or something. Where you want to give uh, the people around you a little something to enjoy. Hmm. Makes a fairly quick smoke. Part of it's the size of a pipe. But. So anyway, friends. Huh. You know, we just kind of take friends for granted, but... Uh, when you don't have them around, you really miss them. And even though I consider myself kind of a loner, um, I like having friends. I enjoy friends. People that you know just more than on a casual, really casual basis. Yeah. They're important. And, you know, as we get more and more social media, in fact, we stopped for, for a late lunch, early dinner. 
at a Mexican restaurant in Belfair. Everybody's on their phones, you know. Checking messages and media and so forth. So I wonder if friendships are less prevalent, maybe fewer in number than they used to be. Because people get some of their social needs met on social media that they otherwise would kind of seek out friends, but now those needs are for what? Uh, connection or a feeling of connection without a lot of actual connection. Social media is good for that. Hmm. I don't know, I still like the doing things together, the face-to-face -face kind of thing. So. Huh. Yeah, I think if I went to a new place and didn't have any friends around, I would make friends pretty quick. I'm just kind of like that. So. I sometimes wonder if that skill is the wrong word, but um, that tendency to make friends is less prevalent than it used to be also, for that same reason. Friends really add to my quality of life, I will say. I truly do. Yeah, I'm thankful. Thankful.